Hey guys, it's uh, Dale here, or Optic, uh, doing my first tutorial for YouTube, and it's regarding Photoshop. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to, where to find brushes for Photoshop, how to save them to your computer, and where, and how to properly install them into Photoshop, okay? So, first thing you're going to need to do is launch Internet Explorer, type in www.brushwezy.com. So it's brusheasy.com. This is basically a website where artists from graphics websites such as uh, DeviantArt make brushes and upload them here so people can use them for free. So that's uh, pretty cool. And there's a big collection so you just click on brushes. As you can see there's like 21 pages of that many brushes so it's a lot. And you can just like scroll through all the pages until you find something that you like. I just download this one, I already have it, but uh, do it for educational purposes. If you click on preview, you can see what the brushes are like uh, beforehand. So, as you can see, they look pretty good. Uh, so, if you like what you see, then you can go to close. If you don't, then you can just go back and find some more. Uh, but uh, I like these, so I'm going to click download. And then all Windows operating systems are going to ask you, do you want to save it? You just click save. Uh, it's going to be a compressed folder, so you're going to have to extract it, okay? Which I'll show you how to do later on. Uh, so you just click, it asks you which folder you want to save it to. Uh, I save everything to pictures because it's handy. Okay, so you click save. It already exists because I already have it. So I just go click yes. It'll only take about five seconds to download. Okay, so when that's downloaded, just uh, it'll give you the option to click open, open folder or close. So you're gonna want open, and I'm using Vista, so I have to give my permission. So allow, and here you go. You should just get this here. So you're gonna extract all files because it's compressed. It's a zip file. Uh, so you're gonna extract, and you will get the non-compressed version. So the ABR file or the brush file and uh, you can delete the old one, you can X out of it. So the next thing you want to do with this is you want to open up Photoshop. I'm using Elements 7.0, it's basically the same as all the other Photoshops. Uh, you go to the right hand, or the left hand side and you click on the brush tool, okay, in your selection tools. And this thing should pop up, this brush selection box. So you click the drop down menu to bring down all your brushes and this it's different to CS4 because you uh, you have different sets of brushes in CS4 you just have one big list of all your brushes but in this like you need to go to the drop down menu and click different ones to bring up different brushes okay so anyway you're gonna see this little double arrow here on the right hand side you're gonna click that and it's gonna bring down a drop down menu with like uh, how would you like to view your brushes or do you want to reset brushes or load or save them uh, excuse me so we're gonna go to load brushes this will bring into your folders and you'll have to find the folder and the file that you saved it to or if you've done it like I have you're just gonna bring up the non-compressed file here and you're gonna and you're going to double click that the fucking webcam thing keeps coming up you're gonna double click that and drag it over into the the folder so it should pop up there and then you are going to double click it and then it should come up in your in your brush files all right so uh that's basically all you have to do to get them into your photoshop archives you can try try them out if you want blank file and that one a bit too big so you're just gonna go up to your size bar here beside your brush selection thing and you just bring it down to whatever size you want they look pretty good so yeah that's basically all you have to do to <coughs> find load and save brushes so I hope it was helpful and if you want to subscribe you can if you have any comments, bad or good, you can leave them in the comments box. And any questions you want to ask me about this or anything you want me to do in a specific area, 
of Photoshop and I'll be doing a few YouTube videos as well so or videos of, about YouTube I should say so uh, yeah so subscribe to me if you can and um, I hope it was helpful so this is Dale or Optic so bye bye then